would say it's one of the easiest and most pleasant border crossing experiences we've ever had. I take back everything I said. <laughs> Today is unfortunately our last day in Oman. We are taking a bus from Muscat to Dubai, and it's gonna be a super budget backpacker kind of day. Starting with budget lunch from the grocery store, which actually looks really delicious. We got these beautiful salads with cheese and olives and peppers for like less than a dollar. Chapati, <laughs> fresh chapati. And hummus. This entire thing of hummus costs 75 cents. If you were to try to buy this back in the US, it would cost at least $5 for like fresh, delicious hummus. So after we finish lunch, we are gonna jump in a taxi Thank that's you. gonna take us to a local bus Chicago. station. Then from that local Next bus station, station, we go to another local bus station where we get on a bigger bus. And then ultimately, that bigger bus takes us to Dubai. Made it. It's gonna be a long travel day. That was like the Cliff Notes version of the entire vlog. <laughs> so the rest of the vlog is just a much longer version of that. And just to give you an idea of how much money we're saving, it's probably like $100 a person to fly from Muscat to Dubai and the bus cost 30 for both of us. So we thought it was worth it. And we'll get to see some more of the countryside. Oops. Sorry. All right, first thing we have to do is find a taxi and then try to negotiate them down to two real because that's what the lady at the desk told us that it should be. Here we go. Travel day begins. Today's travel day looks a lot different than the last travel day we had. <laughs> no lounges today. No airplane. No airports. No lounge food. It shouldn't take too long. Anytime we walk down the road, at least 10 taxi drivers honk at us now that we have all of our stuff. Nobody's honked. No. Well, I'm cubs. We got it. We got it. We got it. Thank you very much. It's different. Thank you. All right, we're looking for bus number one. We know when it's leaving. I have a good feeling we're leaving soon. Turns out that one's full. Yeah. Next bus is here. Still on schedule. Bye. We took the local bus to the bigger bus station. <laughs> now hopefully we can get tickets for Dubai here because we don't have those yet. Uh, yes, one way. Six hours, we're gonna be in our 68th country. 68? 68. That is assuming that the border crossing goes well. From everything I've read, we don't need a visa to go to the United Arab Emirates, but we do have to cross a border on the bus on the way there. We'll see how that goes. I plan on getting on my computer and using up the two hours of battery that I get without a charge. Do we have plugs? No plugs. And then we brought some snacks. And there's movie screens, but I don't know if they'll be in English. <laughs> Probably not. It's gonna be an exciting ride. Bus is super comfortable. It is, the AC is great. So I have Wi-Fi. Wi what? Thank you. 
It is 6.45, the bus has just stopped. Everybody seems to be getting off. I'm assuming that we're at the border. And I'm probably not gonna be able to use this. And we are officially stamped out of Oma. And we got ice cream. One of the more pleasant border crossings. Now we're jumping back on the bus, driving a little ways, and then I assume we'll get stamped into the United Arab Emirates. We are at the UAE border. I think. We are officially stamped into the UAE. I would say it's one of the easiest and most pleasant border crossing experiences we've ever had. Yeah. We didn't have to like get out in the parking lot and dump all of our suitcases out for people to look through. It's great. It is about 7.30. The border crossing took about an hour and now I think we have two or three hours left until we get to Dubai. take back everything I said. <laughs> not the easiest, not the most pleasant. We just hadn't made it to customs yet. It was pleasant, it just wasn't <laughs> expected. We still haven't talked about this. Karis just had the silly grin on her face ever since she got back. We got separated. Aww. <laughs> That's better. I'll try to keep it short and simple. After we got back on the bus going through customs into the UAE, we stopped again and the guy got on and counted everybody. And then he comes back around and tells half the bus to get off with our stuff. So we get off, they tell me to go stand over by myself and all everybody else to go, oh, maybe because I'm the only girl. Yeah, for sure. Okay. It was all due to mine. Okay, I go in this government building with this beautiful lady and there's all these guys in there too, but like I'm in the room with her. She goes through every pocket and every zipper of everything that I have which is so much. To give you some perspective, there were probably 20 guys in the room that I had to go to, and Kara's inspection took longer than all of ours. So she literally opened every zipper, which is great. Like, I'm all about safety. If that was her job, then she did a good job. But she found my medicine bag, which has a bunch of medicine in it that's not labeled because bottles take up a lot of room. Anyways. She takes it away and she's like, I have to take this because it's not labeled. So I had to write down what all of them were. Some of them I kind of guessed. I was pretty sure what most of them were. So she takes it and gives it to this guy and he's like, we have to check all of these. And if we don't know exactly what they are, we have to keep them. And I'm like, great, just keep them, it's fine. I have to catch the bus. And he's like, no, it's okay. And I'm like, no, really. And he's like, go sit down. So I go sit down with this lady and she's like, do you want some tea? And I was like, yeah. And so she brought me some hot tea. It is so yummy. And we're just chatting back there. Like, I totally forgot the bus. <laughs> we had a great time. She was looking at all my passport stamps. <laughs> We, everybody else was on the bus. I was getting really worried that like everybody just sat here and waited on care for 15 minutes. So then this guy walks in and gives her a thumbs up and she's like, here you go, and hands me my medicine and my passport. And yeah. It's a similar experience except he just opened up all of my bottles and I didn't know if he spoke English well, so I just said like stomach, head. He opened up one pocket and he was like, camera, and I was like, yeah. And then he was like, where's the medicine? So they're strict about that. Here. Okay, now we have two hours till Dubai. It is 10.20 and we have just arrived in Dubai. Now we are standing on the street trying to figure out where our Airbnb is. To complete our backpacker day, we have decided to walk to the place that we're staying tonight. Riding an escalator over the road right now. I'm also seeing two Ferraris and Lamborghini already. This bed is a rock. <laughs> In our 20 minute walk to our place, we learned that we are not in Oman anymore. But it's been a pretty uneventful day besides my tea party on the border and our <laughs> walk back. All right, so get to see more. Looking forward to seeing more of Dubai, but it won't be tomorrow because we're getting on a ship. So tomorrow is basically gonna be the complete opposite of the backpacker day that we had today. 
We're getting on a cruise. But we're going back to Dubai. In seven days. And we're gonna be here for... I'm tired. <laughs> Window? Yeah. The usual. What are you doing? I'm hungry. <laughs> I miss Oman. Looking forward to exploring Dubai. That's all I got. <laughs> it's too late.